Hello, my name is Samantha Cristoforetti and I'm an astronaut with the European Space Agency from Italy. I would like to say a big hello from Cologne, from the European Astronaut Center, to Daniel Cordoba and the Taller de Fisica al Alcance de Todos. A big hello to all uh, Daniel's uh, present and former students. Uh, you sent a few questions about uh, my, you know, my work as an astronaut, my life, my career, so um, I would like to touch on, on some of them uh, briefly. Uh, so you wanted to know when I began my career as an astronaut. Well, um, actually I dreamt of uh, flying to space since I was a small child. I grew up in a, in a, in a small village in the mountains in Italy and uh, you know, I was a very adventurous child. I liked to, to roam and explore. Um, I was very passionate about um, adventure books and science fiction. And then growing up I developed an interest in, in science and technology and also flying. And so eventually um, I became an engineer, an aerospace engineer, and then a military pilot in the Italian Air Force. And uh, when I was about uh, 32, uh, I was selected to join the European Astronaut Corps and become an astronaut. And then I started training. Uh, so as you can see, learning in my life really never ended. I have been learning new things all my life. So joined uh, the European uh, Space Agency as an astronaut and did two years of basic training, learning really the basic skills of, uh, of astronauts um, about uh, all the different scientific disciplines, about uh, space vehicles, about the space station, but also things like uh, survival in the wilderness in case of an emergency, re-entry from space, uh, uh, doing spacewalks on or operating the robotic arm of the space station. And then a couple of years later I was assigned to a mission on the International Space Station and so I started training again, this time with the very specific goal of becoming a crew member on the ISS. And so crew members on the ISS, we do all kinds of things, so we're not really specialized on, on, on one thing because we spend a long time on, uh, on board, uh, about uh, six months, six months and a half in my case, uh, and so we need to be able to do a little bit of everything. So the main goal up there on ISS is to do science, um, experiments that take advantage of, these, of this uh, very special environment, which is microgravity or weightlessness. There's a lot of research in life science and in physical sciences that you can do, taking advantage of the fact that you can take gravity out of the equation. But of course, the space station is also a very complex machine, so uh, it needs to be maintained, kind of like you know, your, your car or your parents' car, uh, periodically it has to be uh, fixed and maintained. So that's the space station. So we do uh, maintenance work on board. We also do logistics work. Periodically, we get cargo ships that uh, come uh, and bring us supplies, or we need to fill them up for when they return to Earth. Um, I had a chance to fly the robotic arm of the space station to go and grab one of those vehicles and attach it, um, well actually it was attached from the ground then uh, to, the, uh, to one of the um, berthing ports on the, um, the space station. And I also had the chance to uh, support uh, two of my uh, crewmates who went out and did a spacewalk. I trained myself for spacewalks before my flight, but then in space my uh, crewmates Terry and Butch went out to do some uh, um, reconfiguration work in preparation for the future expansion of the space station and so I was responsible to basically build the spacesuit around them. It's a very complex spacesuit, basically almost like a little spaceship that allows for one person, a spaceship for one person that allows us to uh, go out in, in space and survive for six, seven, eight, uh, eight hours. Uh, and yes, you mentioned in your questions the coffee machine. I also uh, had the chance to uh, brew for the first time an espresso in space with the very special space espresso machine that was sent uh, from Italy to the, um, to the ISS. Um, you're wondering about inconveniences in, in zero gravity. Well, first of all, Weightlessness is a really cool thing. Imagine you could switch off gravity and start to float, and if you could, you could go and have, uh, I don't know, breakfast on, on the ceiling and really inhabit the space in, in three dimensions and be able to pivot and turn and flip. It's a lot of fun. But it does, um, you know, it does create some problems as well because, um, well, things float and so you tend to lose them, especially at the beginning when you're not used to really secure them. You know, we're all used on the ground, we set something down, 
and we are going to find it in the same place, but in space it's going to float away. So one of the biggest inconveniences is that we tend to lose things more than, than we do on the ground. But then with time you get used to it and, uh, and you learn to really pay attention or secure things with Velcro or bungees. Your body, of course, adapts too. Some people have a little bit of uh, nausea, like space sickness, for, uh, for a few days when they first get to space. I was lucky I didn't have that. But for a few days, for sure, I was very careful not to move around my head too much to avoid having any kinds of issues. And then after a few days, your body adapts, and then you can do all your, your, your flips um, and, and really enjoy um, weightlessness. Um, so, um, I'm going to wrap this up uh, with uh, your question about what advice you give teenagers who are starting to uh, study for a uh, scientific career. Well, I will not uh, uh, lie to you. Uh, studying um, science is certainly not one of the easier, easiest uh, uh, disciplines. It does take uh, um, you know, commitment and uh, a rigorous um, studying approach, but uh, it's immensely gratifying. You really learn and understand how the natural world works and how technology works. Technology that so much impregnates um, our lives uh, uh, today. Uh, and the most important thing I think that you, uh, I think that you should remember is that science is not about learning answers, you know, learning about things that we already know. Of course you need to, to do that, but the goal is really to, to be able to ask yourselves new questions and find out new things, you know. The more we learn, the more we understand that there are more questions that are unanswered, more things out there that we want uh, to know about. So, um, all the best to you, uh, good luck, and uh, a big hello from the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. Bye-bye.